world on the forehead. Coincidence, J.K. Rowling? All right, everybody, this is Alternate Head. We're yeah. back with another review. NECA's Predators Series 18 or some shit. Broken touch. This is Token Brusque from the Dark Horse comic book line. Uh, I don't really know anything about him, but he looks visually striking. I honestly... Same old helmet. I like yeah. it, though. I mean, can't so, go wrong with the gold. As we'll see when we get this out of the package, it's really great. Some comic art in the back there. And, uh, yeah, the figures and stuff. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. Here's the people that sculpted this thing. Yeah. All right, we got them out of the package. First things first, great sculpt colors. Look at that big staff with the blades on it. He's really fun to look at and display. Yeah, I'm liking this staff a lot already. I never really read the Dark Horse comics. I always wasn't meant to pick up the uh, the Omnibuy, the big collections. Uh, but he looks just like this in the comics. And then an interesting thing that we'll come back to later is this armor is reused NECA sculpt, but it does match his comic book look. So It's pretty cool. It's a lot of green. It's kind of a coincidence. Um, um, yeah, and then he has his like uh, insignias on his helmet and the alien head. Um, yeah, it's awesome. It's looking pretty good so far. So he comes with... A couple things. A couple things. First of all, his staff is broken up into two pieces because it's freaking huge there. Plugs in nicely. It's very Damn. solid. He comes with his like fleshlight cannon. Uh, lots of detail. The strap is nicely Just imagine if braided it leather. Put on you. I know. Ugh. Um it does it Blam! matches gone. it matches like the plasma caster shape, but it looks hilarious as a gun. Um but if it's comic accurate, that's okay. And then the detailing in his staff is awesome. I love the size it's of it. Ginormous. Especially for a predator. Um if you would be having to fight xenomorphs. And you can see there's a bunch of acid on it and the blades are worn. You can use this for the new one coming out, the Capcom one. Yeah. They should have came with this. Are we sure that it doesn't? Or, or will it? I don't know. I think it will. Some battle damage to the blade. I guess the Predators have alloys that acid won't melt through, but there's like bullet holes in it. Changes that's, colors. That's the impaling end. Um, but then in the movie, the acid melts their wrist blades, so I don't know. Uh, NECA's Predators, as most of their figures, are very nicely sculpted, very detailed. This Predator has a lot of armor on him. Uh, suiting the character so it's fun to kind of look through everything and even though it's green there's some washes Soft and ass armor yeah washes and it's stuff nice, so they really bring out a lot of the details and then that classic uh, predator one head that looks so good um a lot of their predator figures their heads are too big in my opinion like the kenner ones but this is perfect and i think it fits nicely with his bulky armor you know yeah it's really nice it's really nice i like it a lot oh my god and then um he has his classic wrist blades those go out pretty far it took some effort to get that out, though. Yeah, I had to heat them up a little bit. All right, articulation. Let's put those back in. All right, here we go. We got the same old head. I mean, it works. You no know? shoulder cannon in the way, so you can see how yeah, that's a different they are. That's a different um, thing, which is nice actually. Yeah, double jointed elbows get in a little past ninety. Got a better hand now. It's not on a ball anymore. Yeah, I remember the old Predators were just on ball joints for the wrist. Much Screw better. that shit. Yeah, the hands are also softer, thank God. All the armor pieces are soft, so they don't hinder our articulation whatsoever. Yeah, I love NECA for that. Really good. A little swivel. I'm yeah. not sure if these are supposed to swivel at the gauntlet. Just like Machiko, these were stuck. Um, but they do now. Yeah. So, this is the ultimate predator body with the double torso joint, but it's kind of hindered by this front and back plate um, yeah. that you can see here, but it is the same, so you could work to free that up, but that lower waist ball gets everything you need, I think, because um, it's so poseable. Yeah, and then that way they don't, piece. Yeah, they don't sacrifice yeah. the armor. Same hips work out really well. He's so armored, but it's so soft that he can do everything. So I think this is a great compromise from NECA. Got this hip swivel. Standard predator body joints. Yep. Um, Double joint and knee. And then the, on this figure, everything worked great out of the package, by the way. Which is not always the case from NECA. Sometimes you got to take a hair dryer to things. Or... Except for that gauntlet, right? Yeah, the gauntlets are fused um, like Machiko. But not only did everything move freely, it was the right tightness and everything. So mm -hmm. this guy was a blast to pose, and he just feels really good. 
Not a lot of effort to make it hand work out really mat. well. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yep. And then back to his accessorials. Since he is so posable, he can do a lot of dynamic stuff with his staff. And then I find that, you know, just putting one half in each hand, sliding that in, and then plugging it together at the center is very nice. And it's pretty sturdy. Some of the other... He looks so good with it. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Um, same thing with the gun. Once again, bendy fingers because this handle is huge. You really need it, yeah. And then just kind of shove it's that softer in there. softer than all the crazy old hard hands. Mm -hmm. But everything works. A predator that can hold and use all of his stuff easily, finally, um, hasn't always been the case. So let's look at this comparison to the glow-in-the-dark predator. When I first saw the Broken Tusk's armor, I was like, oh, that's cool. And even though I had the glow-in-the-dark Kenner one on my shelf, I didn't realize that it was the same freaking sculpt, aside from some, like, uh, groin pieces, but... In the back, yeah. Because the Kenner, the Kenner is an homage, but then Broken Tusk looks like that in the 90s comics, so which came first? Who knows? Let's do um, some research. Great reuse from NECA, One though. of them, I don't know. I looked it up. Oh, it's so sick. Uh, oh, my God. We need more Predators, man. These are so good. So you can see a lot of the reuse. Uh, the gauntlets are different. The the back plate or the big hump on the back is different. And then the lower legs are on Broken Tusk are just from the very first Predator classic armor. But different crotch. It works. Here he is next to Machiko. The last one we reviewed from this series. And once again, we got some Kenners. Kenner homage with yo, crazy yo, yo. armor. He fits right in. Hecka 90s. So yeah, this figure is great. I like it so much. The uh, yeah, the design is great. And maybe we got really lucky that out of the package, uh, he worked and the engineering was efficient and everything was fine and not broken or stuck because he does everything you wanted to. And it's, the, it's what the new Predator body was designed to do. And because of all the soft pieces and stuff, it works perfectly. Like, every pose you want to get, the freaking, the spear is amazing. I just remember growing up and seeing these comics and stuff and not really being able to read them because I wasn't of age or whatever. Uh, and this one stood out probably the most to me because it's so similar to the game, which I played a shit ton Yeah. at Chinatown when I was a kid. And, yeah, I just, I, I love this figure a lot. Everything works so well. Even though there's like a couple reused parts, you know, like the chest plate and the back and, uh, you know, shoulders and the head and stuff. It just, they repainted it. It worked out really well. The staff is amazing. Uh, it's a good figure. This is like one of the their best Predator figures just in terms of how well everything works, I think. And it's not even an ultimate. Um, yeah, it doesn't need it. He's got stuff that so, works. So this is like the bar that the others should reach in terms of accessories and hit the bar, guys. Yeah. Hit the bar. So if you like the review, let us know. Yeah. Like, comment, subscribe, notification bell. We'll see you guys next time. All right. Peach out. Why does he have a flashlight for a gun?